Hi, my name is Ron Marcello, and I'm a professor emeritus in history from the University of North Texas. I was executive secretary of the Oral History Association for 10 years. Prior to that, I was the secretary for two years, and then I was president in 1989. And I guess one of the funniest stories I have, but it just shows you how far this organization has come, is that when I took over as executive secretary and I looked at the minutes and I saw that up to that time, Knox Mellon, the previous treasurer, we had a secretary and a treasurer before an executive secretary, Knox Mellon sent out a letter to all the council members saying, look, we only have enough money in the treasury to pay you for half your reimbursement for the midwinter council meeting. So that shows you just how Fiscally, the organization was on the edge for some time. And eventually, that did change, but it was into, that was a real eye-opener when I saw that uh, they only had enough money in the treasury to pay for half the travel expenses of council for the council meetings. Then my, my other uh, uh, memory of oral history is a little bit more, uh, more personal, I think. Uh, I, I had the pleasure of dealing and associating with who were people who were the true, truly the pioneers of OHA, starting with people like Jim Mink, who actually put the Oral History Association together, Louis Starr, one of the first presidents, Forrest Pogue, Cheetah Fry, uh, Charlie Morrissey, Willa Baum. I could go on and on, but uh, it, it was really a, an honor to have been around those people and in my own case, I was still a, 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 a novice, I would say, and I obviously learned a lot from them. And for that, I will be forever grateful. And I've missed a lot of names, but I think that would be enough.